One game away from the big dance just across the way at the House of Steel. Mika Vickman will backstop Corey Nielsen's Nottingham Panthers. The firepower is there for Nottingham. But can the Steelers match it? Matthew Wah back on the goals trail on Sunday night. And so is Tyler Mosienko. Five goals for him. But the Steelers need a good performance if they're going to reach the Challenge Cup final. Now, possession in the offensive zone. Quick shot will come. Turned aside easily by Beekman. Hewitt testing out the blocker early on here. Fitzgerald clears that one up the middle. It's easily taken down. A pause for an offside. Nothing given. Panthers will come in. Chance! And a first goal of the night goes the way of Evan Mosey. 6 4 in this one. Steelers break down defensively. And Mosey with a good finish. And Panthers have the lead in the Challenge Cup semi final first leg. Now, could be a chance for Coyle, lets that one go, long deflection, could break back the other way. Just about held in, Steelers working this one around, it goes all the way through, but there's no finish. And the Panthers can break away now. It's good from Lawrence. Just clears it away as the Panthers go back to full strength, the power play is over and now Nottingham come again. This could be real danger on the little move. It's there. Matthew Myers balls his way to the crease. And the Steelers, who look so dangerous on that power play. That one squibs through the legs. Veekman. It's a nice pass by Veekman. And Nottingham can break away here, and they've got a two-on-one. More men coming as well. Chance back door. A third goal. Colnick scores. There's four minutes and 11 seconds left in this period and Nottingham have almost put this game to bed. Steelers are in a right old mess here. Panthers with the dumping, cleared away. Steelers just struggling to clear their zone again and it breaks to the middle. Chance, it's David Clark. That's four. The Steelers in a tangle in their own end and Clark picks out the top corner. And surely Nottingham are in an unassailable position here. Panthers keep it moving on the boards. Looking for another option, turning the corner, quick shot comes in, rebound pops out again, Steelers. Need to just get a grip on this game as the shot will come from the point. Another goal. It's Cam Janssen. Driving hard to the net. And the Steelers cannot believe it. The tip takes it upstairs. No chance for Marek Pince. And that'll do it. Brad Day. Gets the call as Pince gets the hook. And Ice Sheffield is shell shot. Panthers back into the zone again. Oh, what a pass that is. Another opportunity at a goal. It's Jeff Wall this time. The defenseman pinching into the plate. Found with a wonderful pass. And the Steelers. There's a man in the net. Fitzgerald will complain. Here we go. Fitzgerald and Janssen. And a pair of them are trying to trade here. Fitzgerald trying to spark his team. But at 6 0, is it going to be too little, too late for the Steelers? Well, they're still going.
trying to get the helmets off and the pair of them hanging on and that'll do it. Two very tough men. Nelson. Another penalty coming on the Sheffield Steelers this time. It's Cullen Eddy. He'll take the seat. The Steelers have run into quite a bit of penalty trouble here. And the Panthers with Lee. Have more power play time. Steelers trying to force here. It's Lee again at the top. Now he works it down low. Panthers trying to be creative. One timer coming. And another goal. Colnick with the deflection. He got to the net and got just enough on that one. Another power play marker. It's seven. Panthers looking for more. Big hit coming, and another hit on the boards. Steelers trying to inject some life into this performance, but it's, it just hasn't happened. It's not been good enough here, as there could be another chance. Rack it up, that's number eight, Brad Moran. Nottingham are on their way to the Challenge Cup final, and there's still three periods to play in this tie. They couldn't get there, and Moran pumps it home. Well, the Hooter can't come fast enough. Steelers are beaten, boos from the crowd. A frustrating night. They do it again in 24 hours' time. But a penny for the thoughts of head coach Paul Thompson. He must be absolutely frustrated. Well, just your thoughts on what you've seen tonight. One of huge disappointment. Uh, I mean, unrecognisable. I don't know if they were good or we were goddamn awful. I think a little bit of both. I mean, we gave up two on one, two on one, three on two, breakaway. We never got a save. We were a second behind in our decision making all night. We didn't win any battles. And we were poor, and we were poor, and we've embarrassed our fans and our organisation tonight. And, uh, and it's a tough one right now, David. It's a tough one right now. I mean, uh, you know, 20 years, of, 20 odd years of coaching, this is as tough as it gets. But you can't bury your head in the sand. I mean, everybody will be looking for someone to blame. It'll be me, it'll be the goalie, it'll be this guy, it'll be the other guy. You know, as a cl group collectively, we embarrassed ourselves and uh, we embarrassed our organisation and, and more importantly, we embarrassed our fans tonight. And we've got to put some pride back into our jerseys tomorrow in Nottingham because you can't hide. And there's a lot of our fans that have paid good money to come and watch us tonight and tomorrow. And uh, even though we're out of the competition, we've got to bring some pride back. Was this just one game too far? We've been involved in battle after battle. We have been short, or am I looking for some excuses here? Was this a game that was perhaps around the corner always? I'm not going to look at it as an excuse. I mean, you know, we've got some illness in the camp, and uh, I don't know if other teams are. And you know, we, we had a war on Sunday, but it's a semi-final against the Nottingham Panthers. And, and everything that could go wrong tonight went wrong. It was unrecognisable. Our system was unrecognisable. Our play, our decision making, everything was uh, was out the window. And <coughs> any team in the league would have walked in tonight and, 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 and spanked us with the with the application and the attitude we showed, showed towards this game. And, you know, and we, I'm not going to let 60 minutes of garbage ruin our ruin our whole season. And that's where you know myself as a coach. Daryl, you know we got broad shoulders, and you know, and I'll take I'll take the heat for this. I mean, you do, you do in this game. And my players have got to come back, and they've got to respond because the last thing I'm going to do is point fingers at players publicly. That's going to make them feel even lower than they do now. It's about me putting some arm rounds, guys. Now, as much as we feel the pain, and we feel the pain, but again, people look for excuses. People want reasons for excuses. There is no excuse tonight. Yeah, we played a lot of hockey. 
but we were goddamn awful and we embarrassed our, our team. You talk about putting pride back into the organisation tomorrow, but is one of the problems, knowing you're out of the cup, you've got one eye on Saturday, or do you have to kind of put Saturday out of the window and, and just play tomorrow to try and regain some uh, confidence and pride? No, we've got a lot of hard-working <laughs> people that have, 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 have took time off work and paid to come and watch us play tomorrow. And uh, it doesn't matter about Saturday, it's about tomorrow. And we've got to go and we've got to play with the pride that you should have to wear a Sheffield Steelers jersey. And uh, we're not a bad team. We were bad tonight. We're not a bad team. And we've had it taken to us tonight. And it's a bit of pill to swallow. And I want a reaction.